Hey guys, so Deacon's got a gnarly little splinter here and I want to share with you guys how I get them out. I know this seems like a, maybe a bizarre video, but my dad used to be like the splinter guy when I was a kid. Everybody wanted my dad to take the splinters out because he didn't hurt. And I'd like to think that I do exactly what he used to do. So I'm going to share with you guys what I do. So I have a nice clean needle. There's a string attached to it. This is like a regular sewing needle just because um, this way I don't lose it. But I do sterilize this needle every single time after and before I use it. And also a pair of tweezers that I kind of had designated for, that was not me. for splinter removal. So what I like to do is pretty much always use the needle. And the reason why is because you can kind of create a opening in where the splinter is. So I am going to kind of cut open basically the top of this. And I know that sounds kind of crazy. Does that sound crazy, Deacon? I want you to do how Papa did it. I will do it just like how Papa does it. So I'm gonna create an opening basically by kind of picking the top of it off just a little bit. Open up the spot right here and kind of like almost just pick the skin up just a little bit. Does it hurt, Deacon? No. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm just kind of scratching it along. You know, if you've ever on your own kind of just like in a way almost scooped off and like, you know, stuck a needle through the top couple layers of your skin. Does that feel good? You don't Mom? feel it. Then does that feel good? Um, can you not do it while I'm getting a splinter out of Deacon's hand? Mm -hmm. So this is actually a bunch of splinters kind of grouped up together as okay, one. So here's kind of a different angle for you. So you can kind of see how I've picked at it just a little bit. And I'm gonna to continue to pick it, just the kind of the top of it, just a little bit. I may have reached a point now where two, I can also, I don't know, can you see where I'm picking at it here? Hopefully my fingers are not getting in the way. But I'm just kind of scratching the top of it. I'm kind of just picking at the top of it. Now, this is the point where you can almost pull the splinter just straight out and not have to pick all the way down. It just depends. So now we can kind of just pull these out. They might break off. Oh, they did. So now we're going to go the rest of the way down here. So that's the chance with old wood. We, this is from an old, where'd you get the splinter at? The fence? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can kind of see that I've got like a nice open, almost like a well here. So I'm going to kind of pull the skin aside on either side. Give it a little squeeze just to be able to pry it up. Drake, please stop with the car. I've got it stuck in one spot, so I'm gonna give it another little squeeze. There we go. This should be good. And yank, there we go. So there, here, I'll set it on the paper towel. Is the splinter, let's see. Here is the nice, clean, empty, free of splinter finger, and he's good to go. Just don't, how did that feel? Good. Did it hurt at all? No.